Hi everyone, today I'm going to be sharing my current skincare routine. I have a bunch of new products from Paula's Choice that I want to share with you. It's their uh, Calm Redness Relief Collection and I'm just obsessed. Um, but to give you a quick overview of my skin type, I have combination oily skin. I'll deal with some redness and breakouts here and there, um, but overall I definitely do have that tight skin, really dry right when I wash it and then it turns to kind of a bit of an oily mess in the afternoon. But uh, this particular collection definitely deals with that dryness and keeps my skin pretty balanced and happy during the day. So that's a lot to ask for when I have those extremes with my skin, but I'm really happy with the products that I'm using. So starting off with my evening routine, I remove my makeup using the L'Occitane Immortel Oil Makeup Remover massage it onto dry skin and rinse it off with warm water. I'll usually shower at nighttime, so that's when I'll use this. And then to deep clean, I've been loving the Calm Redness Relief Cleanser for normal to dry skin. It's a creamy formula that it says cleans and soothes. Um, it gently removes all of the dirt and debris that the makeup remover might have left behind. Beautiful packaging, something clear would be a bit easier to see how much is left, but not a big deal. The push top is pretty good. I found that this actually got like filled up with water, uh, the cap, but not a big deal and you can always empty out the rest when it's down to the bottom, but I'm loving this cleanser since it washes but doesn't strip your skin. It's gentle. I can use it with my Clarisonic, but I've been loving little baby washcloths really gentle and it provides that that grip to gently exfoliate. So that is step number two. Um, one of my favorite cleansers is this one by Frouche. So if I'm not using that one, this is more of an exfoliator. It's um, tea tree oil and Frouche is a company from Toronto. So that's another great brand to try out. Um, now as for the next step, I have been loyal to the toner, the redness relief toner to nourish and soothe extra sensitive skin. This is great because the consistency is actually like a thick, it almost reminds me of an essence. I'll like get a little bit on my hand here. I don't know if you can see, but it's not super liquidy. It's actually quite thick. And I love that because you don't need to use a cotton pad to apply it to your skin. It's not sticky or anything. It is still uh, very fresh when you apply it to your face, but uh, this particular toner soothes, takes away that uh, really tight feeling after you've washed your face with water and it's quite moisturizing and it's supposed to balance out the pH of your skin so all of the uh, products you apply afterwards really work to their full potential. So that's a great toner. I always love the Paula's Choice toners. Um, all of the ones I've tried are great. I'll use the Shiseido Facial Cotton if I do apply it with um, cotton as opposed to just like patting it onto your skin like a Korean essence would be, so that's a great product. Um, and right after I apply toner, I'll go in with my eye cream, but this is just the Skin, Recovering Repl skin Recovery Replenishing Moisturizer for normal dry or very dry skin. Funny how none of these products say combination skin on them because you have to cater to the dry when it's dry and oily when your face is oily, at least for me. So this is a great product to deeply moisturize the area right around my eyes. I put it on my lids um, and then just kind of in a V shape. I'll also apply it around my nose and mouth. I find that I get flaky around uh, my nose especially. So good. I love this stuff. It's a, an amazing, fragrance-free, reliable moisturizer. So good. So that goes on next. And then I'll do like spot treatment with the Resist BHA9. This stuff is so good. It's like concentrated salicylic acid, but it's not drying or irritating at all. It's um, a clear liquid and it's pretty pricey. I think at around $40, so I won't pump any out right now, but it comes in a little pump that definitely distribute or dispenses way too much. Um, so I end up putting it like all over my face practically, but I haven't had any reactions to this. I usually just put it down the bridge of my nose to help with blackheads or on any areas that I may be breaking out in or around my chin and stuff. Um, and I think it works pretty well. It definitely keeps my blackheads to um, a minimum, so that's really good. Now next up, I'll use my uh, Redness Relief 1% BHA Lotion Exfoliant. So. This comes in a nice 
uh, pump. I really like the packaging of this. One pump, I put it all over my face, and I've replaced my 2% BHA liquid with this cream because I found that one to be a bit too strong. I was getting a bit of redness right around here and underneath my jawbone, so I had to stop using that for now, and I'm using the 1% cream. This is so, so good, so gentle. I'll pretty much use it morning and night, and my skin is really happy with this, so thumbs up. Now, final step, I'll usually apply my Neutrogena Anti-Wrinkle Cream. I think this might be discontinued, so it's really just a nice moisturizer, but um, instead, if my skin's still feeling a little bit dry, I'll use the Skin Recovery Moisturizer. I'll just get a little pea-sized amount, and I'll add the Resist 1% Retinol Booster. Retinol is the go-to ingredient for anti-aging, acne, it just tones up your pores and really evens out your skin. So this is a great product from Paula's Choice if you're looking for a retinol to use uh, on your skin. So other than that, um, for daytime, um, actually I want to mention one more thing for night. I love the blemish gel from this brand B Caymans, I think they're Canadian, 5% um, benzoyl peroxide. I like this on any blemishes. This works really, really well to spot treat. So that's another favorite. Um, yeah, so during the daytime, if I want to wash my face when I wake up, if it's feeling kind of oily or something, I will use this uh, redness relief cleanser. Or if I don't want to put water on my face, I'll just use a micellar water. This one from Nivea is great. Cotton pad, sweep it over. And then I will use either the SPF moisturizer from the Calm collection. So good, so lightweight, sinks in quickly and doesn't leave any white cast, but it has SPF 30, mineral-based moisturizer, so I really, really like that too. Comes in a great, convenient tube. I haven't been using this too much in the winter because my CC cream from Smashbox also has SPF 30, so I'll usually use this in place of uh, that sunscreen, but in the summer I'll probably end up using both or something. Um, but if I don't want an SPF, if I'm just sitting inside, I'll go back to that BHA moisturizer. So that is my routine. If you want to see more details on the Calm collection, check out the blog post linked below. There's going to be um, a little contest on there too to win your own line of Paula's Choice products. So check that out. Uh, follow along on social media if you aren't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye!